Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Braingun. That's a new 172nd scale resin set which copies MQ-8B Fire Scout. That's US unmanned autonomous helicopter and it should be quite interesting build for those who are tired from let's say common helicopters and want to replicate something modern. So this is a commercial sample which you will get if you order from Brain Gun webshop and now we have a chance to check it closer to see what is hidden inside. So let's open it and take a look at all those components. Just give me a second to open this box so that we can see what is hidden there. It is quite interesting because you have to remove this side flap and then you're good to go. As you can see, all parts are packed into one plastic bag. Then we have assembly manual, another manual and separate plastic bag with decal sheet and P thread. Of course, we will start with resin pieces and then we will continue with various bonuses which you saw in this kit. Let's open it. It's a ziplock bag which can be closed again after you open it which is really useful because usually in resin kits you don't use all the components at once. Okay I am going to start with the biggest part in this kit. It's a fuselage of course which is molded as one piece part and as you can see it comes in form of this nice part with recess panel lines and tail in place. In my opinion it looks quite good and I think with careful uh, painting it should look even better. I will bring it closer so that you can see this part in detail. So here it is. Really nice molding quality and note that even the swing roots are detailed and the same can be said about the belly area I would say and here you can see also a logo of the previous manufacturer as you can see it's written attack kits next we have um, separate propeller blades of course there are four of them so I'm going to pick them up and I will show them in a second so here they are let's focus the camera because these parts are slightly bigger than focus of our camera so we have to focus it like this and now you see them so as you can see you will have to clean this resin flash around these parts but otherwise they look really fine and just take your time while installing them in place because you will have to be careful with alignment of these parts but otherwise I don't see any possible problems with those elements. Next we have also this top section which will house engine. As you can see it is molded as one piece part. Here we have also some detailing with help of recess panel lines. Next we have also tail segment. Here it is. And then another part is a nose section, which is molded like this. As you can see here, we have special installation slot for the front camera. I hope that fitment of these parts will be really good, because as you can see, only minor elements are molded separately. So basically, you shouldn't have any problems with fitting all the parts in place. Then we have two legs. Of course, these are molded separately and just give me a second, I'll focus the camera and now you can see them. As you can see, their shape is already predefined, so you just install them in place and you're good to go. Last but not the least are these minor components, which look really good, but as you can see they're really small, let's not forget that this is a 172nd scale kit, so you will have to be really careful and pay attention in order not to lose any of those while assembling this model. And frankly speaking, I'm not sure if we had some parts here, because as you can see we have empty spots. 
that's quite interesting I would say and then here we have another set of parts these are the last ones and here is a frontal camera module which will have to be installed on the separate section which we saw before note that there are no transparent parts in this kit so you have to be uh, creative while trying to copy these parts with your own tools and now we are going to check small plastic bag with decal sheets and also PE thread just give me a second okay so first we have small PE thread unpainted PE thread which is of course made in brand gun here you can see it closer of course here we have various parts for external detailing this will create a good here you can see by the way the tail propeller and again you can see attack kits trademark on this PE thread then we have two decal sheets so I will show you first and then I will show you the second so here is the first one with all necessary symbols and here is the second one nice printing quality I don't see any possible problems with this so it will be a matter of careful application of those decals on your model and you will be good to go next we have assembly manuals and here actually this was one manual because here as you can see we have separate front page or first page let's say and then we have also interior pages so here you can see the first um, page which is dedicated to parts map also here we have short history note and the legend of all symbols which are um, used here in this manual then here we have marking guide and note that um, here we can see only one marking guide but we also see variants with bonus decal sheets so you will be able to replicate three more marking options if you would like to then we have assembly process depicted in form of this black and white instructions so I guess we start no we should start with this so we start with assembly and fuselage together with tail section know the tail section should be glued out of several pieces then we continue with legs or skids and here we also apply some PE parts then we continue with various antennas assemble propeller and also attach some minor PE parts here and that's pretty much all for this kit uh, so it should be relatively simple for resin set and of course it will look unusual in comparison with all those recent helicopter releases in 172nd scale this set is already available for purchase you can get it directly on brand gun uh, website they have a nice web shop with some other interesting products available there of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see in the next video review as usual bye